clear. Because what we are going to be discussing today is one of the, one of the things that, you know, um, people are not really talking about, you know, not being as far as like one of the symptoms of what individuals are going through, um, being impacted by the virus. Okay, so we're going to be discussing this very thing today. And you and, and you already know, if I'm talking about it, then you know it has everything to do with hair. Because that's just my passion. Okay, the, the platform of the hair debate, this is where we come to debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. My name is Morello Kane. Been in the industry for over, a little over 20 years. And so, but been doing hair all my life, okay? And so, when I tell you my passion is to talk about um, everything that hair impacts in our life. Thank you so much for joining me. So, okay, one of the symptoms that people are not really talking about, but now I have seen it, you know, on a, quite a few threads. Okay, and so, you know... It is one, again, of the symptoms that you do not hear about. And that is hair loss due to the virus. So now, I know you, I know we know about the temp here and there could be. Okay, we know about how um, the chills, the fever, flu-like symptoms, we know all about that. But what they have not discussed is hair loss. Dealing with the virus. So how? Okay, what is going on to where, you know, is it the medication that individuals are taking? Dealing with the virus, what is it that is causing hair loss? And it is. And so, let me just say, um, you, and we know that hair growth starts from the inside out. Okay? And so, you know... The person is going through the flu, basically. You know, so they're having the chills. They're having fevers. You know, body is going through really a lot. Um, the nutrition, okay, they're, they are losing their appetite. So they're not really eating, you know. So could that affect, hello, thank you for joining me. Could that affect an individual with having a virus and dealing with hair loss? But let me tell you what it is regarding that. And, and they're not seeing where, okay, I have a virus. I receive the results. The results are positive. Okay, so it's not that, okay, so now they're going through all the different things on the inside. And now the hair is shedding. It's not that at all. Okay, what they have come to realize is the stress behind the virus. Okay, so just think about that, the stress behind it. Okay, right now, this is truly a scary time. Okay, so you have individuals that are losing their jobs. And so, the, they are impacted in the stress that is behind that. Yeah, the stress that is behind that. Absolutely. And so, that's what we truly need to, you know, really hone into we're thinking, okay, what products can I put on my hair? I don't feel like doing my hair. I'm just in the house. How is that impacting my hair? But the conditions of everything that's going on right now is what is being impacted when it comes to the virus and hair loss. Okay, and so you have individuals that, and, and on the news, all you hear, I'm talking about smart news, you know, the news from TV, the news from state to state. You know, all you hear are the deaths that are associated behind that. Okay, but then also understand too, you have those individuals that have lost loved ones. And so they are impacted in the stress that is behind that. You know, and then it's, it's also too, you know, children, the kids being home, these several months where the parents are not used to, you know, having to balance the school and also, too, with work life. And so now you're talking about the stress behind that. So now let me just say this. When stress affects the hair, it's not an instant shedding where the hair is coming out instantly. It's not that. Okay? So when stress starts to affect the body, the hair won't show the effects of that. Not until two to three months later. Okay, later. So now when your hair is shedding, you're thinking, okay, what am I putting on my hair right now? 
That's what you're thinking. What, what am I not doing? Okay, what, what am I doing too much of? You know, and so that's what we go to thinking because it's, it's going on right then and there. But what you have to realize is that, again, the stress is not affecting the body, which causing the hair loss right then and there. This has been affecting the body over the course of some months. And so that's going to affect one of the um, one of the cycles of hair growth. And then that's when you start seeing the shedding of the hair. OK, so now what must you do? Okay, you realize that your hair is shedding. Okay, don't panic to thinking, okay, what am I not placing on my hair? What am I? No. Okay, it's time to de-stress. Let's do that first. Okay? And so de-stressing, let's do that first. And so, okay, how now? I don't know how. Everyone distress in a different way. Okay? Everyone distresses in a different way. And so some of us may want to go, we get home. You know, you want to pour it up. You may have that. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you. You want to pour it up. You know, you may, you may want to have that drink. Okay. If you are in a state where you smoke, some of you guys, you know, you're going to get that spliff. You, okay. So let me just say that is not always the answer. Even though some of you in there are just like high-fiving it. You know, like, yes, yes. Let me tell you. Okay. No. All right. I Now. Yes, you know, getting that drink, you know, rolling it up, sitting back, chilling. It may feel good for the moment, but okay, but we're talking about distressing to the fact where it's going to create change within us, okay, that 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 we can use for time to come. Okay, you continue to use that for time to come. We may be sitting back talking about something else, okay? And so so let's talk about some measures to de-stress. Yes. And so when I tell you, uh, one of the mechanisms that I use to distress is finding that quiet spot in my house. You know, now kids are, are getting ready to go back to school now. And so, well, and then a lot of them are doing it digitally. So, God bless you if that is the case. Well, let me just say this. You know, you want to get in that quiet place. Okay, get in that quiet place and surround yourself, close your eyes and get to a point where you hear nothing but the peaceful sounds that are around you. Okay, that right there, take, you know what, take in 15 minutes sitting in that place does wonders to you. You know, 15 minutes when you're just straight up sitting is a long time. But just again, the goal to this is distressing. Okay, how can I distress from running and taking that, that, getting that blunt, you know, fixing that drink? How can I distress? Okay, so getting in that quiet place, closing your eyes, that's a way that you can distress. Okay, also too, let's see, how do you get in that place? Okay, get in. Get yourself around some spiritual or uplifting sound, okay? Some songs. Get into that place. Okay, now what I like to do is actually have it playing in the background while I'm doing other things, okay? That's what I like to do. Have it playing in the background while I'm doing some other things. You know what's so powerful about that is the atmosphere that it sets, and so you'll find yourself, you know, doing, you know, you know, you may catch a song that may get you there, you know, or whatnot. But again, that's what you want to do. You want to surround yourself in, in that spiritual place, that music or, you know, something that's speaking to your soul. You know what I'm saying? If you can hit a couple of notes with it, that's what I'm talking about. So that's what you need. Again, the key is we're distressing. OK, um, which is going to come back hair loss you know we never think about the stress or whatnot the first thing we want to think about is what product am i not placing in my hair or do i need to place in my hair spending money on that we're first let's de-stress and see where that takes us okay and then that third thing is okay let's just get it out let it out talk to a confidant or cry and release that thing 
Because sometimes we want to hold it in like, oh, we strong, we, you know, like, uh, and then you're mad to the world because you're holding it in. Okay, so again, you want to let it out. Okay, let's talk You're with a confidant. Um, you want to, even if you have to cry it out, but you're not holding it in. And holding it in is what, again, is working against the process of that good blood flow. Okay, and you've been stress free. You're not tight. You're not tense. Your your organs and your body's body um, is not responding to that. And so that's what you look for because again, hair growth starts from the inside out. Understanding the fact that we must truly, truly, truly understand what we're doing to our bodies when we are stressed. And so doing this this virus this, this you know coronavirus situation right here. We must look beyond that and and then too, you know, reach out, get the support and help that you need because again, everyone is being attacked financially, okay? And and that is going to cause the stress. But again, there's other ways of doing it other than grabbing that bottle or roll or rolling up that L, okay? So again, my name is Morello Kane. This is the hair debate. This is the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover. All things hair. Yes, we're going to talk about it. If it's going to affect the hair, be it relationship, be it um, on your job, be it however you are impacted, let us know so we can talk about it. Get some experts on here to address it. Again, stay tuned until next week. Bye-bye.